Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready, two cards. So your energy is the Empress, Six of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, your person's energy is Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, quite a match, a Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Meeting Energies, Strength Card, Justice, Major Arcana, Ace of Swords, the Hermit, our focus, Nine of Cups, bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles, a mindset, working for a goal. This can be a marriage, guys, for some of you. Um, it's like someone is doing more than the partner and there can be the need for a talk in order to make adjustments in favor of the connection. You do not have to be married, of course, to um, fit in this flow of energies. Uh, but this is an important connection for the two of you. So, remain positive. Yes, indeed. Helpful people. Maybe we have to help each other out a little bit more. There is something better. Let's consider it, guys, but... Um, this can be like a question, you know, can I find something better than this uh, situation? This is a connection that uh, can be one established in the proper way, but then we know that life sometimes offers challenges and when it comes to an important connection like this one, there can be the need to find solutions, new solutions maybe, but together. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. It's like the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, the man is using a hammer after all. Bottom of the deck, sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. We have to take a good look at the situation kind of following the hermit because maybe there are factors that deserve our attention following the seven of cups energy so guys um, your person your partner can even offer an apology in your favor we have the page of pentacles and the page of cups the page of cups can be a sweet act of kindness and love it can go the distance, it can work, guys. This person has love for you, the Queen of Cups. Uh, we know that this is a remarkable energy about someone that is in touch with their heart. And this is also the ability to recognize if the intentions involved in a connection can truly be genuine and sincere. Um, this person is willing to take action, they can be called to do more and sometimes it happens, it is part of the adventure uh, if we think about a partnership and they can truly be called to become the emperor even more, you know. The emperor is the energy that can allow us to take action, um, kind of transforming into action a plan well thought. The Page of Pentacles is a diligent approach, guys. Um, basically, we are looking at someone that can be willing to follow the lead of their partner. And it is fair to say, guys, that if you are the one that is doing more in favor of the connection, um, you may be aware of the factors that can be able to help you out. And for this very reason, you can explain 
in a meaningful and productive way uh, to your person what they can do in order to allow the connection to work even better you know it is a matter of balance in this flow um, six of pentacles justice uh, we are basically talking about an equal give and take between two partners it is crucial otherwise there can be a woman up woman down dynamic and basically someone can feel a little bit overwhelmed by the tasks and duties of the everyday life we are trying to be successful together the nine of cups as our focus we can be successful this can truly be a ten of pentacles type of connection but we know that we cannot manifest the ten of pentacles unless we are willing to put in the work the eight of pentacles the seven of cups guys can be an energy about questions and doubts some of you may face um, some questions yes but this is an encouragement to speak up in order to restore a more productive balance in favor of the connection trust is a major factor guys we have to put in the effort in favor of a connection that can be blessed by a meaningful trust factor and the hermit is an encouragement to pay attention to the details that can truly make the difference so let's find out more about your person the empress two of pentacles and the page of swords another page this is about gathering knowledge guys basically um, if they were buying some time if we think about the opportunity to make some adjustments in order for the connection to be more balanced and successful the two of pentacles energy has to go away and this can be done thanks to the ace of swords which can basically break the cycle that we see in the two of pentacles the empress is a recurrent energy this person as you guys in extremely high regards maybe maybe they were distracted the eight of pentacles can even be an energy about to work so let's say professional endeavors that can take away some time from a connection this can be another topic that can be touched in an honest conversation it's like uh, we sit at the kitchen table and we talk things out in an open way in order to find a solution that can be the best possible one for the connection and basically this person is truly called to gather knowledge and information in order to help you guys out this is the choice of words that um, I am called to share with you um, it can be a desire for some of you it is a legitimate one because we know that a partnership is a two-way street and the Emperor has to level up has to step up in order to meet even the Empress um, needs you know it's important because the Empress is also an energy about a healthy growth and some of you guys may be already aware of the factors that can play out um, in a positive way in favor of your connection so let's see your side here we go seven of wands this is like the decision to stand up and tall in order to protect something that can be important for the man in the seven of wands and in this case for some of you four of swords quiet energy thinking things straight the four of swords is way more productive than the seven of cups if we think about a cerebral energy because thanks to the four of swords we can kind of wake up with the clarity that uh, can even come from the ace of swords nine of wands the wounded warrior guys it is understandable uh, this is a combination of energies that uh, basically can describe someone that is doing a lot 
everyday life uh, tasks and duties, uh, a lot of effort, uh, taking care of multiple things, uh, truly multitasking, and this is quite an ability, but you know, sometimes it also drains a lot of energies, and we have to we have to make adjustments, we have to become a team that can be more productive, you know, moving forward, because the connection um, can truly benefit from that. Let's see the meeting, guys. Here we go. Seven Swords, this is our keyword, sabotage. Someone that uh, maybe is not doing enough, King of Swords, another energy that can follow the Ace of Swords and even the Justice, and the Star. This is a connection that can really be important for the two of you guys, but if there is a pattern, because the Seven of Swords can even be about that, you know, something that is not playing out in favor of a particular situation, someone that maybe is avoiding certain responsibilities, maybe without um, truly knowing, that they are doing that, but sometimes it can happen. We have to address the issues. It is important. The King of Swords is an energy that can allow us to notice all the factors involved in a particular situation. The King is an encouragement to pinpoint between all these factors. We can also come back to the Seven of Cups energy. Then it's about connecting the dots. Clarity, Ace of Swords, we speak up, we uh, make our point clear, no need to argue, this is important, the Hermit can be the ability to choose carefully our words. The star is what can be found within the Lantern of the Hermit. This is about a new agreement, guys. Let's organize our connection in a new way, because the situation as it is can become more and more overwhelming the connection can suffer because of that pattern, we have to make adjustments. There is no space for stubbornness, guys, for of Pentacles bottom of the smaller deck. We know that the Emperor sometimes can even be a bossy figure. Um, it would be wise, following the Hermit, to avoid stubbornness if we think about the opportunity to find a new agreement in favor of the connection, because this connection can truly work. This can be a bump in the road along the development. We have to find a new alchemy, let's say, and it is important to release the Seven of Swords. That can truly be a mindset that is like a, like a decision to do less because the situation is fine as it is. Um, this is not fair, because we can face more problems uh, moving forward. The star is an encouragement to open up with um, honesty, transparency, truth, and also, again, trust, guys. Because if there is trust, a connection can find a way to overcome the challenges. So, guys, it's an encouragement, if you ask me, for a couple that may have the chance to bounce back from um, a certain challenge or a certain disappointment that uh, was encountered along the road. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.